Hey guys, it's Bailey from China. I'm doing a full face and makeup using only Chinese products for you today. I thought it'd be interesting for you guys because there's actually a lot of really nice Chinese makeup products that you have probably never seen before. As usual, I bought all the products in today's video with my own money. So, let's dive right in. For foundation, I'm using the Floraces Lotus Skin Nourishing Cushion Foundation in N20. I find it really difficult to find cushion foundations without SPF, especially in Asia, and now I'm allergic to sunscreen, so I immediately became intrigued by this product when I saw it. This one is also oil-free and won't clog pores, which is always what I'm looking for. Floraces is known for their base products. They also have a really popular long-lasting foundation and oil control compact powder. I'm just patting this foundation onto my skin. I would say it's pretty high coverage, and I like how this puff has this pointy corner that gets to all the corners on my face. Now I'm just going to quickly put on this Home Facial Pro Color Changing Lip Balm to prep my lips. The balm itself is black, but it turns into a sheer deep area of color on my lips. Now I'm going to use this Malga Pink Cream Highlighter. I didn't realize how expensive this product was until after I bought it. I got it for a 6.90 RMB, that's more than 100 bucks. I didn't actually know Malga Pink was this high end. Anyways, it has a sponge inside, but it also came with a brush and these sponges. That supposedly work better than the built-in sponge because these sponges have like a leathery surface. I'm just warming up the product with my finger. Then I'm going to dab some of the product onto the back of my hand. And then I'm going to take the tiniest amount using this brush and put it on my under eye area. Then I'm going to blend it out with a sponge. I'm using the Kato Kato Be OK Refresh Makeup Setting Powder to set my face. That kind of sounds like Chinglish to me. But anyways, I got this product because I saw a bunch of Chinese beauty bloggers recommend it. They were like, the powder has really tiny particles and just moves out your skin and controls oil extremely well. And on top of that, this product was only 36 RMB, so it's about $5. And with that kind of price point, it still comes with a mirror on the lid, a double banded powder puff, and a net that blocks the powder from leaking. I got both the colors in Be Nude and Be Clear. The nude one is completely matte, but the clear one has a little bit of a shimmer in it. I'm using the clear one today because I'm feeling like something different today. Now I'm going to use the Casey Casey Color Brow Pencil to do my brows. This product is known for being extremely cheap and working really well at the same time. It's only 9.9 RMB, so it's less than $2. I think the packaging is really cute for less than $2. I kept the packaging just to show you guys. I already used it a couple times. This is what it looks like. It comes with this fully and this ultra slim automatic pencil that goes in and out. And I just feel like the pencil is not too stiff and not too soft, so I have no complaints about this product. I have it in the color K01, which is a light brown color. This palette from Judy Dell is a collaboration with Chippendale. Not only is the packaging super cute, it has everything that you would need for an entire face of look. This peanut right here is the best nose contour color ever. It has a matte highlighter that works really well for the under eye area, a shimmery highlighter, a cute blush that says worse than bite but don't want to find out for sure. It also says in a nutshell here in I'm Nuts About You. There's also a mirror here and of course it has all of these milky toned, matte, and glittery eyeshadows. This angle shading brush is from a Chinese brand called Immortals. I'm only using the peanut to contour today because I have a lot of Chinese eyeshadow palettes and I wanted to stick in one more palette to show you guys today. And that eyeshadow palette is the Perfect Diary Explorer eyeshadow palette in number 10 Fancy Carp. There's a series of these palettes all in collaboration with the Discovery Channel, so they're all animal themed. There's also a cat one, a dog one, a pig one, a panda one, etc. and many, many more, and I own almost all of them. Let me know if you would like to see all of them in a separate video. Fancy Carp is not the one I use the most, but the colors are the most flattering in my eyes. I really like the paper packaging of these palettes because it protects the eyeshadow from breaking and makes them more travel friendly. Two of my Natasha Denona 5 quad eyeshadows broke on my way back from the US. That really hurt. And I really like how these palettes come with a mirror and a brush. What really sold me to these palettes is the fact that some of these glitter eyeshadows have like the same kind of texture as the ColourPop Super Shop eyeshadows. And they're just super glittery and I was like, wow, these palettes are the bomb. And obviously these palettes are extremely cheap compared to palettes I bought in the US. I'm using the Judy Doll Skinny Brow Pencil to contour my yoga set. Now I'm just going to quickly highlight that same area in my inner corners with this Judy Doll Glitter Gel Liner. For eyeliner, I'm using the V&K Gel Liner in the color Cinnamon. It is a muted rosy color and it is the softest and most romantic eyeliner color I've ever seen and I just absolutely adore it. I'm also going to do a bottom eyeliner today, starting the point right beneath my pupil. I'm just dragging the line straight out instead of following my actual waterline. This eyelash curler is extremely popular in China. Again, the packaging is really cute. And the shape is also really cute, and it makes my Asian lashes go straight up. 
This brand called Flamingo is known for their mascaras. I didn't get their most classic one, but I got this pink one because by now you should know that I'm a sucker for packaging. See, there's a Flamingo here. I find the results to be not too dramatic, but this one is one of those tubing mascaras that could be removed with just warm water. And when it comes to packaging, nothing can beat this flower nose blush. Just look at it. It's a traditional Chinese design. I have no words. And it has a magnetic lid and feels really heavy duty. This Diffling brush is also from a Chinese brand called Makeup Girl. I also have a lot of Chinese highlighters because they have a lot of engraved highlighters and when I see them, I just have to give them my money. I'm going to show you two of them today. This one is from a Color Key and Toki Toki collaboration. I picked a pink one. I'm going to use it for my nose bridge. And this one is from this brand called Little Andine. This innocent looking smiley face right here is a glitter bomb. I'm going to use it for my cheekbones and my cupid's butt. I'm also using the brush that came with a little Andine highlighter. I've never used this brush before and this is the packaging. I think it's really cute. And last but not least, lips. Let me just put it on first. I can't talk enough about these into your lip musk. This muddy texture gives your lips the perfect blurry matte look that I'm just in love with. It doesn't dry down like regular liquid lipstick, so you can just use the wand to slowly dry your lips and define your lip lines all you want. And all the colors they come out with are to die for. My favorite one is EM12, it's the one on my lips. I see a lot of Chinese girls living overseas asking for expensive tubes of these into your lip musk because they couldn't get their hands on them outside of China. Please give your girl a thumbs up if you like this video and I'll see you in my next one.